everyone in this video we're going to be simplifying an exponential logarithmic equation so it has both we have or I should say expression not an equation we're gonna simplify this as much as possible we have x to the power log of log x divided by log x and we're gonna find the answer in the simplest form we've done a similar problem before hopefully you remember and if I do remember I'll add the link down below if I forget please remind me in comments okay so we have this weird expression x to the power log log x divided by log x so there's a couple different ways to go about it and I will be presenting three methods let's start with the first method the first method involves the following we're going to write this as x to the power so our original expression is x to the power log log x divided by log x. Let's start with the original. And I'm going to write it as x to the power 1 over log x to the power log of log x. So I kind of separated the numerator and the denominator because they're being multiplied. And one of them is the, you know, 1 over something, the reciprocal. So when they're multiplied, they just become a fractional whatever, something. So why did I do that? I, why did I leave the 1 over log x inside? Because that expression, if you've seen the previous videos, if you didn't, please do, this expression should be familiar to you. We talked about it a few times. I know there's been more than one video, and again, if I remember, I'll try to share the links down below. So, here's what I can do. If you don't remember what this was, I'm going to go ahead and simplify it one more time for you. So, x, what is x to the power 1 over log x? I don't know what it is, right? Well, here's what I can do. This is base 10. So let's write it. And now using the reciprocal rule, what is the reciprocal rule? If you have 1 over log A base B, it becomes log B base A. All right? Like this. So they switch. So we can write this as x to the power log 10 with base x. But then we're going to use the basis rule. Basis rule, right? This is x. This is x. When they are the same, this is going to be the answer. Again, and a shortcut. I'm using a shortcut here. You can also do it a longer way. I'll show you the alternatives. And this becomes 10. Wow, that easy? Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. So we're going to replace the x to the power of 1 over log x with 10. So this becomes, remember that we had that uh, as a base, 10 to the power log of log x. But that's base 10 again. Notice the base's rule. 10, 10. This is going to be the answer, and the answer is going to be log x. One more time, the rule is 10 to the power log a equals a. Make sense? Now, if you want to find out why this is true, you can uh, call 10 to the power log a b, and the log both sides, you're going to get log a equals log b, which means b equals a. Make sense? Easy. Okay, here's the second method. So the first method basically manipulated this expression into the product, separated the exponents, and then the inner exponent uh, is easily, you know, um, simplifiable. I don't know if that's a word, but uh, you can simplify it easily. Uh, because as is, it's uh, a little complicated. So second method is going to focus on something different. And that's something that we almost always use with logs, or exponential logs, I should rather say. Call it y. And don't ever... Don't ever ask why we do that. Okay, so I know, I know this is a lame joke. Some people don't like it, but I think the majority likes it. Anyways, so this is our expression. I'm going to log both sides. It makes sense, right? I have a log in the exponent. Like the exponent is really complicated. If you have an equation that has a complicated expression, like with variables and all that stuff, log on or ln both sides. It's going to help. Guaranteed. Okay, so log this. and log this right but the cool thing about that is this is gonna move to the front okay great let's do it log log x over log x is gonna become the coefficient now times and that's gonna multiply log x and log y is unchanged just like that now notice that log x can be simplified leaving us with something super duper simple look at this log of log x equals log of y now you can definitely forget about the logs here because if log a equals log b then b equals a because log function it's base 10 uh, it's increasing so its graph is like this so 
we can safely say that log x is the same as y, log x equals y, but the expression that I was trying to simplify, I called it y, so the answer is log x. One more time, right? That was the second method. And the second method basically focused on calling this y, logging both sides, and then simplifying. So this doesn't require a lot of properties, so I kind of like the second method better, especially if you're new to logs. If you're not new to logs, if you're really good at it, I'm pretty sure you did this mentally, right? Like you, you'd never use a pen, pencil, paper, whatever. Some people are like, oh, I got this in 10 seconds, five seconds. You're amazing if you did that. Anyways, so we're trying to simplify third method, x to the power log log x over log n. I mean, to be honest with you, when I look at an expression like this, I can't tell right away that, hey, this is log x. Can't you see? It's like super duper easy. Well, sometimes uh, it's easy to see, sometimes it's not. Anyways, it's not super obvious to me, to be honest with you. So the third method is going to focus on the following. We're going to take the exponent and manipulate it. So let's go ahead and isolate it. So like take this log log x over log x. And I'm going to call this something. What am I going to call it? Not the whole thing. You can set it equal to y, but that's going to be the same method. By the way, I just thought about something. If you set it equal to y, cross multiply and move the y as a power, you can also proceed that way. But it's a little bit more painful. Anyways, let's proceed with the third method. I talked too much. So I'm going to write this as log. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm trying to confuse myself here. So no, that's not what I want. Okay, so here's what I'm trying to do with the third method. Let's call this z. So it becomes log z over log x. And what does that remind you? If you didn't say change of base, then you should look at the formulas again. Yes, this is change of base. And this can be written as log z with base x. Yes, that's what it is. Change of base, but we're using it backwards. Make sense? Okay, great. But what is z? z is log x, so we can kind of replace z with log x, right? So this is our exponent, remember. We're going to place it, put it back here. Remember, that was the exponent. So x to the power log log x over log x. This is log log x over log x. So we're going to replace the exponent with that. x to the power log of log x with base x. And remember the basis rule. It's really, really helpful. Come on, make sure you memorize this. x and x. This is the answer, such a nice shortcut. And the answer is log x, right? As before, yay. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.